Antibiotic resistance is a natural evolutionary process in which bacteria develop mechanisms to withstand the effects of antibiotics, rendering these drugs ineffective. The diverse strategies employed by bacteria contribute to the growing challenge of antibiotic resistant infections. Let's discuss some key mechanisms. One mechanism is the mutation of target sites. Bacteria can undergo spontaneous mutations in their DNA that affects the target sites of antibiotics. This alteration prevents the drugs from binding effectively to their intended targets, rendering them less effective or entirely useless. An example includes mutation in bacterial ribosomal RNA that can reduce the affinity of antibiotics like tetracycline. Another mechanism is enzymatic inactivation. Bacteria can produce enzymes that chemically modify or destroy antibiotics. These enzymes act on the drug molecules, rendering them inactive and unable to exert their antibacterial effects. An example of this is beta-lactamases, produced by some bacteria that can hydrolyze the beta-lactam ring, inactivating antibiotics like penicillin. Another mechanism is the use of efflux pumps. Bacteria can develop efflux pumps, which are specialized proteins that actively pump out antibiotics from inside the bacterial cell and reducing the intercellular concentration of the drug and limiting its effectiveness. An example of this is the multi-drug efflux pumps, such as the acrab tol c system, found in many bacteria contributing to resistance against various antibiotics. The next mechanism is the alteration of cell permeability. Some bacteria can modify the permeability of cell membranes, making it more and more difficult for antibiotics to penetrate and reach their target sites within the cell. An example of this includes gram-negative bacteria altering the structure of their outer membrane, limiting the entry of certain antibiotics. Another mechanism is horizontal gene transfer. Bacteria can exchange genetic material horizontally through processes like conjugation, transformation, and transduction. This facilitates the rapid spread of antibiotic resistance genes within the bacterial population. An example includes plasmids carrying antibiotic resistant genes that can be transferred between bacteria, conferring resistance to previously susceptible strains. Another interesting mechanism is biofilm formation. Bacteria within biofilms, which are the communities of microorganisms encased in a matrix, exhibit increased resistance to antibiotics. The biofilm structure physically protects bacteria and hinders antibiotic penetration. An example of this mechanism includes chronic infections associated with biofilm formation, which are often more challenging to treat. Understanding these mechanisms is crucial for developing strategies to combat antibiotic resistance. It highlights the need for responsible antibiotic use, the development of new drugs, and ongoing research to stay ahead in the ongoing evolutionary arm race between bacteria and the antibiotics. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it gave you valuable insights into the major antibiotic resistance mechanisms. I'll be bringing more videos on this. If you enjoyed this one, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Your support is very, very important in creating additional videos like this. Thank you so much. Here are some of the references that you can use to study more about this topic.